So as the title of this video says, we are going to be talking about how to take out the shoulder pads on a jacket to give you a more soft tailoring look. Now this jacket itself, I picked up at a thrift store for, see if that, is that focusing? $3, just about four bucks. So this is a great way to be able to up your wardrobe for a very little amount of money and then use these, these techniques to be able to up it even further. So we're gonna remove the shoulder pads even though it doesn't look super bad with the shoulder pads in it, it's gonna give it a more sleek look because this is just a blazer, a sport coat. We're not having a matching pair of pants. Otherwise, I might leave it in there. But let's jump right into how to take out the shoulder pads. So surprisingly, taking out the shoulder pads on a jacket is an extremely straightforward process. All you really need is a seam ripper or razor blade and then needle and thread to put everything back together. You don't even need a home or industrial sewing machine for this. And again, it is a great way to kind of introduce some soft tailoring into your vintage or even new pieces if you want to remove some of the shoulder padding. So to start off, let's get right into ripping open the armhole and I'm going to walk you through that process right now. So here you will see the inside of the shoulder is where we're going to start. I like to start at this top seam right here. Just turn it inside out like that. So what we're gonna start taking off is this lining that connects the top portion. You can kind of feel in there where the shoulder pad starts and stops. That's the only amount of lining you really need to take off. But if you take off too much, it's just an extra few minutes of handwork. So it's not the end of the world. So let's just start by doing that. have all of this open and immediately it exposes the shoulder pad. It's the piece that is not connected to the actual jacket. Um, and this one here is actually tacked into the under collar part. So all we need to do, cut off the section where it's connected there. And now we are going to rip apart all of the stitching holding it to the sleeve cap. Now normally when they put these sleeves together, they don't have this stitching onto the whole sleeve. So you can usually take this off without damaging the cap of the jacket. But if it does, then you're gonna wanna remember where this seam is and you might need to put that back together. But 99.9% .9 of the case, you're gonna be able to just to pick this off with your seam ripper and pull that right out of there. Simple as that. Now what comes into the skill part of it is actually putting everything back together, which again, we're gonna walk through that. So like I had mentioned, sometimes ripping off the shoulder pad does have unintended consequences, namely right here, as you can see, this little piece of felt around the shoulder cap was connected to the shoulder pad. So we're just going to stitch that in when we go to stitch on the lining here. So you have this top piece of lining, which gets fastened to the top of this, kind of gets all put into that seam around, show you this, the shoulder cap. So this is the top seam of the shoulder. Boop. Show you that. There you go. So this is where we're attaching the lining to is like all of this stuff in this seam. But while we do that, we're just gonna push the needle all the way through and catch this piece around the crown. Super easy stuff. Again, because we're putting things back to where they were, you don't have to make any measurements or make any marks or press anything. You're just literally taking this old crease line right here, lining this crease line into that and stitching everything together. Nice. So all we're doing for this is just a simple running stitch. Nothing crazy because we're gonna go back around with another stitch to attach the sleeve lining to the shoulder cap. Um, so we're really just making sure that this doesn't come off while we're attaching all that. You can throw in a few back tacks, quarter of the way through, halfway through, and then towards the end, just to make sure nothing comes undone again. But again, just a simple running stitch will do at this part. Here we are, you can see that running stitch right through there. Goes through both sides, tacks everything together, holds it nice and tight while we do 
the next step, which is adding all of this lining back on. Again, real simple, guys. All you're doing is reconnecting where you see the old stitch line, all those little holes right there. Let's get that nice and close so you can see it. You're just taking where this folds over, that crease there, lining it up on those holes, and just doing like a cross stitch all the way across. Let me demonstrate. So just like the other one, we're gonna start with a knot on our thread. And we're gonna scoot it back, a little bit back into this seam where it's already put together, just to give our stitching a little bit extra strength and then pull it up. All right, so using our other hand, we're going to lay it on the old marks. We're gonna grab Bring that real close so you can see it. So there's the two pieces. We're gonna grab a little bit of the base fabric, pull it up, go into that sleeve lining, pull it all the way through. And we're just going to continue this. Every like five or six stitches, put a back tack just so that it doesn't come off. Cause this is going to be a high use area of the jacket. Your arms are gonna go in and out of the sleeves all the time. If you catch the wrong part of your sleeve or a button and it pulls through, it's gonna rip out all of these threads, which is going to detach your lining, which is no good. Um, and when you're doing those back tacks, like we're about to do here, go down all the way through to you touch the fabric on the bottom side here. So make sure that your needle goes in and all the way through, just to, again, secure it a little bit more um, to the sleeve and the whole so shoulder seam as a whole. That way you have nothing falling apart. And now we're just gonna follow this all the way around the shoulder. So here you have the stitching all the way around the sleeve lining and the body lining. That's not going anywhere. You wanna tie it off right on the edge, clip it so you don't see anything and look how pretty that looks. Now we're gonna try it on. And as we mentioned before, it wasn't super bad with the pads in because there wasn't much of a padding anyways, but you can tell that it definitely gives it a much softer lived in look, which a lot of people are going for, especially with sport coats. Now, another thing is too, is these aren't super thick shoulder pads either. If you're dealing with like football pads and you're taking a lot out of there to really just make it look a little bit more modern, what you'll also notice is that the shoulder seam actually goes down your sleeve a little bit, which you will have to take that seam, pull it back up, kind of reduce everything, which we have a video on that, so don't worry, it's in one of these corners. I'll link to that. So if you want to see how to take in the shoulder once you take the pads out, give it a look. But otherwise, here's how it is, guys. What do you think? Do you like it with the pads or without the pads? So that's it guys, that's how simple it is to remove shoulder pads from a suit jacket. Now if you found this informative, I would really appreciate it if you like, share, and comment. This way it gets out to as many people as possible. And if you had any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the YouTube section or one of my other social medias of a way to reach out to me again. Also, if you enjoyed this and wanna see more tailoring videos and you don't wanna miss one, make sure you subscribe so that you don't ever miss another video from me, guys. Have a good day and hopefully this helps you with some of your vintage thrifting alterations.